To start the croissant dough, in a jug add 275 grams warm water, 19 grams dry yeast. In the same jug add 195 grams of milk, combine and set on the side for later use. In a mixing bowl add 1 kg of T45 flour, 90 grams granulated sugar and 18 grams fine salt. Cut in small pieces 250 grams of room temperature unsalted butter and add it to the mixing bowl followed by milk mix. Mix all this for about 8 minutes at medium speed. To test the croissant dough, take a chunk of dough and stretch it between your fingers. If the dough tears, you haven't developed enough gluten and it needs more kneading. Let the dough to proof for about 2-3 hours at no more than 25 degrees Celsius. When it's fully proof, knock it back to remove the large air bubbles. Knead it gently and wrap in plastic wrap, then refrigerate for about 8 hours. Next, the chocolate popcorn cream. In a frying pan, add 30 grams of corn, 10 grams of unsalted butter and cook on medium heat to pop all the corn or something like, you know what I mean, just popping up the corn. Bring to boil 250 grams of milk and add the popcorn. Mix it well and cover with plastic wrap to make an infusion for about 10 minutes. In the meantime, in 3 large egg yolks, add 60 grams granulated sugar and mix until it becomes white. Add in the egg mix 10 grams cocoa powder, 20 grams of all-purpose flour and mix to form a thick paste. Sift the popcorn milk and top it up with more milk until you got 250 grams milk in total. Then bring it to a boil. Combine gently half of the milk with the egg mixture and return it to the pot. Cook the popcorn cream for about 5 minutes at medium heat. Add 20 grams of dark chocolate with 55% cocoa and mix to melt the chocolate. Transfer the cream to a bowl and cover it with plastic wrap to prevent any dry skin to form on the surface and let it cool at room temperature. To continue the croissant, add 500 grams of cold unsalted butter to baking paper and roll out to 20 by 30 centimeters. After 8 hours, remove the croissant dough from the fridge and roll it out 40 by 30 centimeters. On one side of the dough add your butter and cover with the other side of the dough. This is called encase the butter. For better lamination, cut the sides and press on the corners of the dough to lock in the butter so the butter doesn't go anywhere. 
roll out to 80 cm to form what is called a double turn. Gently smooth the dough on the surface, cover it in plastic wrap and set it in the freezer for no more than 30 minutes. To create the chocolate snail, I went on Pinterest to find a nice snail image. Zoom in on the photo, then I cover my phone with acetate sheet and draw on it with melted chocolate. Also, I have used edible sugar ice. After this, let the chocolate set in a cold place. Back to our croissant dough, roll out to 20 by 60 centimeters. So now we're making what is called a single turn. Set it in the freezer for no more than 30 minutes. 30 minutes later, roll out the croissant dough to 4 mm thickness. For the croissant roll, cut about 3 cm wide and roll it as much to leave about one finger gap between the cake ring and the dough. Butter an 8 cm cake ring and add it to the croissant roll. Cover it with plastic wrap and let it proof for about 2-3 hours at no more than 25 degrees Celsius. You may wonder why I made so much croissant dough. That is because I'm looking forward to testing an XL croissant for a future video. You need to make half of this recipe for about 10 croissant rolls. To make the egg wash, add one large egg, a pinch of salt and 30 grams of milk and mix it well. Brush with egg wash your croissant rolls and bake at 175 degrees Celsius for about 20 to 30 minutes. Finish the croissant rolls, fill up with chocolate popcorn and decorate with the chocolate snails. 